Hey guys, this is Mike from B Tech Reviews here, and we are going to uh, do just a little bit of tutorial for iMovie here. Again, this is uh, my third or fourth uh, iMovie tutorial. So, uh, what I really wanted to get at here is just practicing adding uh, music to your timeline or to your actual videos here. And this is for people that are trying to to get into uh, you know YouTube and whatnot so as you can see here this is probably like an old project of mine and let me just save that really quick ugly picture of me actually so let's go ahead and select new project and we'll go ahead and click uh, movie right so from there you want to import your media okay so right now I already set I already set it up to have uh, basically a an area where you know I have everything set up so I'm gonna click iMovie practice down here and then I'm gonna go ahead and import all okay so we're gonna check this out so again this is just a quick simple tutorial how to add music to your timeline so up here as you can see here where I have uh, the date January 9 2019 etc like that I have just a little bit of b-roll of me uh, and my car or my car in general I was gonna make a video of my car a while back and I just got lazy so here, I just took a few like quick little shots with my DSLR and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move the first one down to my timeline. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cl uh, click it and drag it. Okay, so so right here I'm gonna go ahead and play play it back. You can see there might, might be lagging a little bit, but for the most part, just a quick little clip. Okay, so so as you can hear, uh, you can probably hear that there's background uh, noise. Okay, so from there, what I want to do is I want to remove. Uh, any uh, sound or you know whatever from the background there so what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click here and then you're going to detach your audio okay so you now you'll be able to see, uh, detach your audio from the actual clip so what you want to do here is you just want to again click this and then you're gonna delete the audio so now I basically have zero audio to this actual video here so again if you can see that there's no uh, audio playing back now so you just see the actual footage so now what you want to do is you want to go back to the beginning as you can click the little mouse and move it back over here so I already uh, put a few songs over here uh, that you guys can see and these are YouTube songs so again you guys want to make sure that you guys are not um, uh, using music that will not get will, will not get you copyright striked or flagged so I, I took these from the YouTube Creator Studio library so the ones that you see here Again, if I were to click it and then play it over here. All right, so basically all you have to do again is you just have to drag it over here and then move it down to the bottom, okay? So the cool thing about iMovie is obviously, you know, you can see what your uh, volume and, uh, and stuff is right here. If I wanted to higher the volume of this, all you have to do is just click the little line right there and then raise it up or down. Uh, for purposes, I'm just going to leave it at 100% though. As you can see here though, the music doesn't really start until about over here. So if I were to play this back. Doesn't sound too bad. So from there, obviously, you know, I have other clips of my car. So if I wanted to, again, add another clip you're just gonna add that clip over here and then what you're gonna do again is you're gonna detach the audio and you're gonna delete the audio from that so again from the song that we're using here we're gonna go ahead and jump from one scene to the other so pretty basic guys if you guys wanna learn how to cut the music uh, all you have to do Again, is just pick a point in time and click. You're, you're gonna click the actual, uh, you know, audio sample, which is gonna be below the video tracks, and you're gonna right click it. Okay, so like, let's say I want to cut the music right here, and I want to, I want to click split clip. Okay, so from there, it's gonna allow you to delete the other half of this. So like, let's say for instance, I want to delete that portion, and then the music is gonna stop up until there. So I'm gonna add another. I'm gonna add another clip over here, and again, let's hold on. Let me let me move this. Let me make the the the, the there we go. Let me make the audio samples or the video samples a little smaller here. So again, we're gonna detach the audio, and we're gonna delete it just because again I hear a lot of uh, noise in the background. So again, once I go from here to here, 
So right there, you're really not going to hear any audio, okay? So again, it's just another uh, portion of B-roll that you're using. Again, I do have another uh, clip that I have over here. So like, let's say, for instance, you want to stop that song. You just want to use that song for that uh, portion of the clip. I have another song here that I can actually drag down, and it'll, it'll start along with this clip. So as soon as this one ends... So again, this is just a you know something that all, any of you can guys do to make uh, your videos look a little more cinematic. Obviously, uh, very basic uh, things to do, especially on iMovie. I mean, iMovie, even though it's very simple, there's a lot of things that you can do with iMovie uh, as far as the music goes. And again, if I wanted to hire the music, uh, all you're gonna do is just click this little line, uh, yellow line in the middle, and you're gonna raise it up. And you're gonna see how that you can raise it up to 400% volume. If you want to lower the track, by the way, so like let's say you, you're talking during the video, and you want to lower the track, you can actually lower it. So, so if I want to do that, you know, again, I don't, I'm not saying anything in the background, but you can probably hear me talking a little better. And again, we're gonna go ahead and raise this back to 100% here. And I'm going to add one more clip here, just because I think this is the coolest looking cl clip out of all my clips. So again, I'm going to detach the audio over here, and we're going to go ahead and play this back for you guys, okay? So we're back over here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the clip right here once this finishes. And I'm going to end that little video here. So I'm going to actually uh, get the music to kind of slowly lower as uh, the video ends. So right here, I'm going to extend it just a little more past the, vo past the video. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. And then you're going to see here that this little uh, circular button right here, actually, you can uh, get the uh, actual volume to kind of slowly uh, go away. So as you can see here, this little line right here uh, kind of goes down. Uh, it makes the volume go away on it. So I'm gonna play this back really quick one more time from the beginning of that specific clip, and you're gonna hear and you're gonna hear the the volume gradually go down. All right, guys. So that's basically it on how to add music uh, to your iMovie clips over here. Pretty simple and basic. If you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And again, if you guys are having trouble enabling the right-click feature on, on your uh, MacBook or your Mac Pro, whatever you're using, uh, make sure that you guys uh, fix that in your settings. All you have to do is just go to app, your Apple preferences, and you're good to go from there. So again, let's play this back one more time just so you guys can kind of see uh, where our final product is, okay? Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, tutorial video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, guys. And again, thank you all for watching uh, my videos here. If you guys would like to see other videos, please go ahead and uh, comment down below on what you guys would like to see. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe.